this it? This is it. There's a lot of cars. This is all for your grandma? Wow. <laughs> we don't know this many people. <laughs> Come on in. You've got plenty of friends here. Well, thought this was for Jonathan. And this is for you. Thank you. Thank y'all for getting her here. All right. She's 95, what? 95 years. It's weird to think like in the 20s, she'll have lived, well, you know, hopefully, she'll have lived in both 20s. It's weird. It's like, I'm thinking, like, I'm excited about getting to the, the 2020s just to say that I, I lived in the 20s. You know, it's kind of a weird thing, I know. But yeah, 95 years. I don't know. Baby! Come on, boys! Baby! Come on, boys! Baby! Stay. Stay. The time is now and never cease to change. Time it gives you more than you can make. So there's this place in St. Marcus called Pie Society, and it's probably, is it our favorite pizza place here in town? Yeah. Yeah. Possibly one of the best ever. <laughs> Crust is vegan. They offer vegan cheese, which is really cool because not a lot of pizza places do that yet. Um, and they have these things called garlic knots. And it's basically just their pie crust formed into little dough balls. It is so good. Perfect. So what's our Saturday night? Apparently learning Spanish. Just kidding. No, we're going to eat... Uh, well, I am learning Spanish stuff. Eat, food, watch, office. That's Done. Good. I think that's about it. I might actually try to run again. I don't know. We'll see. Why do you look like that? <laughs> running. <laughs> <laughs> After pizza. I like to run. After pizza. Good luck. See? These shoes are good. They get baby slobber. I'm slipping off. <laughs> What's up guys? Welcome to the video. So... The <laughs> are we really gonna do the whole intro like this? Why not? You have Harry Potter right here. If you're right here, I'm right here. We see everything. And they can see what kind of camera we use. Look at this. Welcome to the video. Thank you for clicking on it. Make sure you hit that thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. So what are we doing today? Blair has been smelling something somewhere in this RV. Just me? Okay, fine. A little bit of me. It's not that bad to me, but apparently I get used to it or something like that. We have been smelling some stuff coming from... From maybe this guy a little bit. But the thing is, it's then down underneath us, which is the black tank. It's uh, right here. It's the, uh, uh, the vent for it. So I call it, it the, the poop pipe. Yeah, obviously, <laughs> and we're starting to smell things in here, which... What is this? The closet. Is it, That's is, where all your clothes are. Yeah, whose closet? My so, closet? Surprisingly, he has not... We have not smelled on his clothes. But, okay, what we think happened is in transportation from Colorado to home, something got knocked slightly loose with the pipe and what the pipe does is it releases the smells is that what it does the roof yeah it vents 
that out. So okay, it's, so it's less of a chance of coming back in here. But okay. also the pea trap in here also keeps that from happening too. But it's not the actual like black water. It's just the fumes from the black tank itself. Possibly. Possibly. But then yeah. it's definitely coming from this area. It has to be the pipe. So what are we going to do today? We're just going to try to seal around the edges of it. Start there and see what happens. I don't know. I really don't know what we're going to do today. I don't either. But uh, we'll do something. So welcome to the and, video. Yeah, and we'll let you know if it works or not. <laughs> Why not? All right, so what we're doing now is we're taking this and pushing it further back so that we can actually work on this pipe and not get any sealant. So, and you guys might be able to see it. We shouldn't the light, yeah. <laughs> and you can see how Matt tucks his socks right there. Those are where my socks go. Very efficient yep. <laughs> placing. So we'll see if I can get this down. We have a development. Yeah. So it's all one plastic piece all the way through. There's no coupling or anything like that. <coughs> There's a hole down there, uh, which basically means that we need to seal it down from where it's coming in, which is where I keep my shoes. It's kind of dirty in there. So right in here. Yep. Yeah, right in there. Right there. So, so we you just seal, seal that. that? One spot. Yep. You think that's it? Well, so we'll give it a couple of days and see if it subsides. Awesome. But that uh, should be it. Let's do it. All right, so you guys know that um, if you've been following us for a little while, we talk about all aspects of the RV life, and that includes random things that come up and are an inconvenience, such as this issue. Surprisingly, we haven't had... <laughs> your, Hello? <laughs> your back end is right there. Who's back there? <laughs> Surprisingly, we haven't had knock on wood issues lately. Like this is the first thing that's kind of come up in a while. I'm gonna go get some sealant. I remember back whenever our water heater, remember that was, our water was stinky for a bit and we had to dump that. We should probably do that again. We just thought it would be helpful and entertaining for you guys to see how we handle these types of issues because they, they happen, you know, and not a lot of people talk about this, but it's been unpleasant. It's usually whenever we flush, then that's, you know, obviously whenever the fumes escape through that pipe and that's when we smell it. Yeah, we're gonna hopefully fix that today. Good old flex seal. <laughs> A RV's handy dandy object. The best sealant possible. Not necessarily. This is a uh, flex seal. Does that have a lot of fumes that we should not breathing in? Probably not breathing in. Let's go with that answer, but um, what we're gonna do is just spray it, let it dry, spray it, let it dry, and see what happens from there. Spray it. Spray it. Okay, what? whatever. Whatever. <laughs> There's too many cooks. <laughs> oh, get it! Get it! <coughs> yeah, we. I'm gonna turn on the... That's a, that's, that's a lot of fumes. I actually made just do it right there. Think so? Okay, so what's more so recommended, which we didn't actually have just ready to go with us today, is just some kind of caulk, some kind of actual sealant that you don't spray on. Aerosol is not the best in these situations because you can't actually get around corners. Actually even get like a, I don't know, like a sponge or a paper towel even and just kind of rub around the edges to make sure it fills in all the gaps. So I stand corrected. Um, the last big issue that we had was, um, I don't know if you guys can see, this is where <laughs> this fancy- It's so well covered up! Chandelier here. This is where the TV antenna used to be. There was like a little knobby thing, but now it's just a hole that goes up to the roof, um, and what is covering the hole is one of these handy dandy corrobles. It's if sealed real nice. <laughs> it works really well. I mean, it is like holding tight, but if you guys have not seen that video, um, you can check it. I'll link it below. But yeah, it's kind of sucked at the time, but it's kind of funny to think about now, so. Hey, it's, well, I mean, we didn't really need the antenna, so I just took a tree and knocked it off. Right? That's a roundabout way to do it, but yeah, it got it done. <laughs> That's not exactly a, not the whole story, but either way, the antenna's gone. <laughs> There's now a bowl that has stood the test of time. And actually, it stood through a hurricane. It did. Hurricane Harvey. It yep. held. Yeah, it held the Man. whole time. Not even a single leak. <laughs> 
Brady, what do you think about the bowl? Apple What do you think about the bowl? My goodness. Have you ever seen anything so cute? It's over here. Buzz? Hi, Buzz. You're cute too. Come here. Look at you. Wait, no, I can't see your face. No. <laughs> Give me a hug. But Buzz, Buzz. Hey, we gotta show your cute face too. Oh, Buzz. Oh my goodness. Oh, Buzz, your little tail's going. Oh. Alright, and while that dries, uh, Matt and I are gonna have dinner. What are you having for dinner, Matt? Tacos. This is, this is our dining table, by the way. Yeah, this is where we eat. <laughs> Welcome to the kitchen, oh dining room, bed. <laughs> Bathroom. All of it. No. <laughs> so what are you eating? So I'm having tacos with, uh, well, with Taco Bell hot sauce. So just trying to keep it classy. <laughs> I am having this. This. It's a giant bowl of coleslaw, which is basically just shredded cabbage and carrots, salsa, white rice that I seasoned with cumin, Cajun seasoning, cilantro lime, and chili powder some of these Morningstar Farms strips, which are actually quite delicious. So that is dinner. Okay, so it is the next day, and we have not yet smelled anything. So I think that the flex seal actually worked, which I'm pretty excited about. But now we need to go underneath um, and make sure there's no... There's definitely not a leak, because we've checked for that, but make sure that there's nothing that shouldn't be... Um, escaping back here somewhere. So that's the black tank. And I'm holding my breakfast. Um, but yeah, so no smells. So I think we solved the problem pretty simply. We did have to leave the vent on um, and the window open for a little bit because it was quite fumy in there, but it went away after a couple hours. Problem solved. So my next goal for just little things around the RV is to actually put shelves into my closet, closet, next to the bed. Uh, I've got just stuff piled in there right now, so I want to put two shelves, and this guy says that he could do it, no problem. Yep. So... I'm gonna I make it out of pine. Oh, fancy. It's not that fancy. <laughs> <laughs> so I think that's gonna be the next task, which might be Wednesday's video. Um, tonight he's actually got a show. They're gonna be playing at Buzz Mill here in San Marcos. Then also we're playing The Morgue on Wednesday. Yeah, so there's this place called the Morgue, or Kiva. It was previously known yeah. as Kiva, but it's now known as the Morgue. They're playing there on Wednesday at what time? Nine or ten. Oh my late. gosh, that's yeah. I don't know if you're going to make it. Oh, <laughs> you don't so, have to go. They're playing there. I'm going to try to include uh, some footage of them playing tonight, as long as all of that goes well. Um, hopefully the sound is okay. I do want to get a mic for this camera. But I think it's going to be good. Maybe we can change our world around Maybe we can waste We are the Wondering Whites. Uh, welcome to the video. Thank you for clicking on it. Make sure you hit that thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Uh, Blair's been... He's in front. I don't know where he is. Oh, he is? I like how you enunciated all of that. Talk. 